Hello everyone, welcome back to panel discussion session. The last topic we're talking about country session ID, crafting powerful performance marketing strategies for Indonesian market. And with Mr. Prayudo, or we can call him Mr. Yudo, as the CEO of Interspace Indonesia to be our moderator. Mr. Yudo has more than 10 years of experience in multimedia, internet, and telecommunication business. He also has a deep understanding of web programming, database, mobile programming, and mobile applications. And also, we have two panelists here. The first one is Mr. Usman Raizra, the founder and CEO of Shop Discon ID. And as the founder and CEO of Shop Discon ID and modusgaya.com, Mr. Usman has been in online industry since 2010, and he has broad experience in marketing communication marketing strategy, business and product development for any company, and in-depth experience in the digital media. And for the second panelist is Mr. Amitaj Singh, the director of Mass Ultra, Mass by Apple. Mr. Amitaj leads desktop web performance business and is responsible for driving growth and expansion in India and international regions. He has over 14 years of experience across digital advertising and strategy consulting in driving and scaling high growth business across BFSI, e-commerce, education, auto, and ad tech industry. And now I will give the session to Mr. Yudo and you can start the panel discussion now. Okay, thank you Rifanka for the uh, introduction. Okay, and uh, thank you as well for all the panelists, uh, uh, Mr. Amitaj and also Mr. Usman, to, jo uh, to spare your time to join the Access State Summit 2022. And also thanks for all the attendees that still staying on the Access State Summit 2022. And hopefully we can, uh, hopefully within this discussion, uh, all, of, all of us can, get, uh, can gain more benefit and also more understanding about crafting the, perform the powerful performance marketing for Indonesia market. This one, uh, this one is the counter session, so we will focus uh, the discussion on Indonesia market. Okay, let's just, uh, without further ado, let's just uh, get started. So I will start with the first question from Apple, uh, for uh, Mass Ultra from uh, Amitaj. So uh, currently, uh, Mass Ultra is one of the player on Indonesia performance marketing. Can you explain a little bit about your service and also your experience in Indonesia? Yeah, thank you so much, Yudo. Thank you, Access Trade, for inviting me here. Uh, Mass is a unified audience platform, and uh, Ultra, which belongs to Mass, Ma uh, Ultra is an uh, uh, is a product which enables advertisers across the globe to acquire quality users uh, with premium partners through cross device uh, device platforms and direct channels. So uh, we are a uh, web centric uh, product. That's the Mass Ultra. And uh, so when I say about services, we have a 360 degree approach, uh, 360 degree uh, offerings to the advertiser, uh, namely everything of performance marketing, right? Starting from social influencers, uh, CPC, CPL, CPVs, native, programmatic. So we offer a 360 degree approach there. So this is Mass Ultra about. Okay. Okay, so uh, okay, thank you for the explanation about this one. But uh, can you explain, uh, elaborate more on uh, what is your, uh, how's your experience on Indonesia market, and uh, what is the uh, example of the client that already used this on Indonesia market? So, uh, Indonesia market is uh, one of the, I would say, the most important market of Southeast Asia. Uh, there's huge, uh, uh, there's large population huge number of internet users, I would say around 74% of internet users in Indonesia. So for us in uh, uh, Mass Ultra, Indonesia holds a very important place. Uh, Indonesia is an e-commerce driven market, I would say. And uh, I would say performance marketing or affiliate marketing is on a growth trajectory in Indonesia. And uh, so if, right now, I mean, uh, so uh, I we see a lot of potential in Indonesia. Mm. I see, I see. Okay, thank you for the explanation, uh, uh, Amitaj. Okay, now uh, next I will go to uh, Mr. Usman from Shop Discount. 
Okay, so now Shop Discount is one of the player on Indonesia performance marketing that currently focusing on affiliate marketing. Can you explain a little bit uh, about your service? Okay, you do. Uh, thank you anyway for having me here and hello everyone. So with all due respect, you know, uh, please allow me to answer it with bahasa, yeah. Because oh no problem, no problem. Because no problem. Time, I lost my word when I speak to uh, to, to to the English. Oh no problem. Uh, yeah. I will I will explain it in English later on. Yeah, and then maybe you can uh, help me uh, translate it with the sure, sure. for the resume, right? So, sure, sure, sure. Um, sebenarnya shop discount sendiri ini merupakan bagian dari di Genesia ya, gitu, dan teman-teman hmm. juga di sini. Jadi uh, di Genesia ini perusahaan digital service kita mulai sejak 2015. Uh, fokus kita bergerak di performance basis, gitu. Dari 2015 kita sudah fokus ke sana. Dan uh, kemudian kita kembangkan uh, perusahaan kita ke network aset, gitu. Jadi uh, network aset ini ada beberapa website yang kita kelola. Jadi selain shopdiscount.id, kita juga ada molusgaya.com. Ini dia juga sama web affiliate basisnya lifestyle, gitu. Nah sementara si shopdiscount uh, ID ini sebenarnya baru berdiri sekitar satu tahun lalu. gitu dan teman-teman. Jadi ini dia uh, shop discount ini merupakan uh, site yang fokusnya adalah memberikan benefit untuk user ketika datang ke website itu kita kasih informasi-informasi berupa kupon diskon, promo ataupun cashback dari e-commerce atau marketplace yang ada di Indonesia gitu seperti itu. Tapi keunikannya apa sih sebenarnya di shop discount ini dan beberapa mungkin website kita ini? Jadi informasi di dalamnya itu kita kemas ke dalam bentuk kreatif konten gitu jadi di shop discount sendiri itu kita kemas konten-konten yang sangat menarik kenapa kita fokus di konten karena kita sekarang percaya konten ini bukan lagi king lagi jadi konten is not a king sekarang ini tapi konten itu is a kingdom gitu jadi sudah sudah melebar lagi nih si konten itu gitu jadi di shop discount ini dan di modus gaya terutama juga kita lakukan dua model penetrasi untuk konten-konten yang yang kita punya pertama yang kita sajikan konten-konten untuk yang datang ke website kita juga yang datang secara organik itu biasanya kita uh, biasa kita uh, namakan tuh post konten terus kemudian juga kita melakukan spreading konten yang datang dari uh, uh, tempat kita melalui pad traffic yang ada di di sini uh, apa namanya untuk me- menarik user user baru itu biasanya kita sebut dengan full konten gitu yudo itu sekilas shop diskon Okay, I will try to translate this a bit because it's quite long. So please, uh, please correct me if I'm if I'm uh, misinterpreted in any way. So actually, uh, so actually, uh, what uh, Usman is mentioning, uh, previously like uh, shop discount is actually part of the Diginasia. So on the Diginasia, uh, they started at 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they started in yeah. 2015, and they are uh, they are starting uh, this uh, as. Uh, they are focusing on the performance marketing. They have uh, several website now. They have shop discount and also modus gaya. And currently, they are focusing a uh, uh, shop discount only the, uh, starting on this uh, uh, this year. No, sorry, uh, one year ago, one year ago. And then on the shop discount, uh, they they share the information of uh, discount coupon and also cashback from uh, from the. Uh, from the client uh, that they have, and the audience can uh, get the uh, this information while visiting their website. Uh, what is their uh, their main focus currently is uh, how to uh, to share this data based on unique posts. So the users what that once they see uh, this website, they will see the unique posts and the, uh, creative posts uh, from all of this uh, from all of this uh, content, and they will get benefit out of this one. So yeah, that's uh, the current uh, situation that uh, we doing in the uh, shop discount. Okay, uh, I will move to the second question still from uh, uh, still with Usman. So how's the situation in the Indonesia effort marketing from your perspective in the past two years or in the uh, or in the past year? What kind of challenge that you're facing to run effort marketing in Indonesia? Okay, you know, um, I've led marketing. itu uh, kalau kita ngomongin affiliate marketing pelakunya itu adalah afiliator ya kita sebut sebagai afiliator ya seperti itu so ini sangat seru banget di Indonesia sekarang ya jadi uh, buat teman-teman yang ada di Indonesia mungkin bisa search di 
uh, YouTube atau di Google tentang afiliator di Indonesia. Ini seru banget karena sekarang ini sedang terjadi berita yang sangat apa namanya uh, menghebohkan gitu di mana afiliator afiliator ini uh, mempergunakan uh, caranya yang kurang bagus di Indonesia uh, untuk uh, menjalankan afiliat marketing yang seperti itu. Ya. Uh, tapi saya pikir ini hanya sebagian kecil saja situasi affiliate marketing di Indonesia saat ini. Ini hanya sebagian kecil saja karena sebenarnya kalau saya lihat dari 2014 kemajuannya itu sangat pesat di Indonesia. Ya, uh, lebih 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 maju lagi gitu. Uh, kita tarik uh, affiliate marketing ini uh, ke dalam uh, ekosistem yang 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 ada sekarang di Indonesia. Saya kumpulkan tiga pilar Afiliat tiga pilar penting afiliat marketing di Indonesia ya yang 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 menjadikan maju sampai saat, sampai saat ini. Yang pertama itu advertisernya sendiri kalau kita ngomong ekosistem ada advertisernya sendiri. Kemudian di tengah ada affiliate company ini kayak kayak akses street seperti ini medium <tuh> eh, yang sebagai medium antara advertiser dan si terakhir si publishersnya seperti itu. Jadi kalau ngelihat situasi sekarang ini sangat berkembang. Let's say misalnya advertisernya sendiri. Advertiser sendiri sekarang sudah mulai membuka terhadap affiliate marketing ini secara secara udah secara terang-terangan ya. Bahkan kalau saya lihat si beberapa advertiser sudah menyimpan uh, strategi affiliate marketing ini di strategi marketingnya dia. Itu udah wajib. Terus kemudian ada beberapa juga advertiser yang sudah dia membuka sendiri direct publisher ke dia. Dia memanage sendiri publisher ke dia seperti itu. Uh, apa namanya? tanpa bantuan medium yang tadi affiliate company yang di tengah seperti itu kayak gitu. Jadi produk-produknya juga semakin semakin masif seperti itu. Terus kemudian juga apa namanya kita bisa memilih berbagai produk, nggak cuma produk yang bohong seperti yang sekarang terjadi seperti itu. Kita kita bisa memilih produk. Kemudian yang kedua affiliate company juga sekarang ini kalau melihat menurut saya sekarang sudah sangat berkembang sekali affiliate company ini. Saya lihat sudah sangat membantu publishers dalam hal teknologi. Karena uh, affiliate marketing itu uh, tanpa teknologi sepertinya agak susah untuk kita jalankan penuh ya seperti itu. Jadi perannya affiliate company ini sangat penting karena dia sekarang sudah uh, masuk membantu publishers dengan teknologi-teknologi yang mudah digunakan oleh publishers. Gitu. Kenapa? Karena balik ke apa beranjak ke yang nomor tiga si publisher sendiri di Indonesia publisher sendiri di Indonesia sebenarnya kebanyakan kalau publisi lokal Indonesia itu benar-benar uh, dia hit and run ya uh, jadi ada yang bagus kemudian jalannya udah pergi selesai tidak ada tidak ada yang konsisten kenapa karena dia teknologinya cukup lumayan lag di sini gitu beda halnya dengan mungkin di sini publisher dari luar ya udah ada juga dan ini suatu perkembangan kalau publisher dari luar secara teknologi dia sangat mendukung banget seperti itu jadi uh, saya pikir uh, ini yang ini yang ini yang menjadi uh, apa namanya ekosistem yang 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 membuat di, di, di Indonesia ini sekarang ini uh, cukup berkembang ya seperti itu challenge challenge-nya ya karena advertiser juga sekarang ini udah uh, sudah semakin maju ya pengetahuannya dia juga semakin ketat untuk memperlakukan affiliate marketing ini dari sisi pemilihan publisher, penggunaan term and condition kepada publisher ini juga semakin ketat seperti itu ya. Dan kemudian di yaitu apa namanya kalau untuk di publisher yaitu kita berkompet sama apa namanya publisher-publisher yang memang datang dari luar yang secara teknologi, secara finansial, secara established management dia udah sangat profesional ya seperti itu. Nah, that's why uh, kita sendiri sekarang sudah mulai me- men-shifting perusahaan kita uh, dari di Genesia ini yang tadinya cuma sekedar publisher saja, tapi kita memang sekarang sudah mulai memanage si apa namanya website uh, affiliate kita, kita manage uh, apa namanya uh, marketing, kita manage teknologinya sedemikian rupa supaya kita juga bisa berkompet sama semuanya. Mudah-mudahan tidak panjang ya Yudo di translate. Okay, it's actually longer than the previous one, the pre- longer than the previous answer. But I will get the, uh, I will get the, uh, the uh, all the points of, of this one. But thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Rusman, for the for the uh, lengthy answer for for the insightful answer. Okay, uh, so uh, here's the situation in Indonesia. One of difficulty here is like we have the terms affiliator is being scorned 
by the bad affiliation uh, affiliator or bad publishers in Indonesia, because currently affiliator is uh, synonymized with the uh, scam because uh, because of the uh, bad uh, uh, bad financial uh, campaign that currently running and it's all over the news so if you search on affiliator in indonesia you will get all the news about bad affiliation and bad uh bad campaign uh, bad uh, financial campaign in indonesia so this is something that we need uh we need to fight back because we because this is only like small portion of affiliate marketing that it's bad in indonesia so this is one of the hurdles Meanwhile, uh, yeah, uh, Usman also mentioned about the uh, three pillar of affiliate marketing that is currently growing. The difference between 2014 up until 2019 and 2022 up until now, the situation is quite changing in a good way. Meanwhile, all of the uh, uh, all of the ecosystem, affiliate marketing ecosystem, is growing from the advertisers, from the publishers, and also from the affiliate platform. And the uh, ma the maturity of these uh, publishers uh, and advertisers also helped by the affiliate platform from uh, that uh, that help the publishers to uh, promote this uh, to uh, pro uh, to run affiliate marketing more effectively. But the problem here uh, for the, the challenge, not the problem here. So the challenge here is now because the uh, uh, advertisers also mature maturing in a new way and also the publishers and maturing so the competition is uh, getting higher meanwhile the uh, advertisers also uh, give the higher uh, action point harder action point and also can are able to select which publishers to run so this is creating a good challenge and also good competition in our marketing business okay again mr Usman, please correct me if there's any of the translation is incorrect but yeah that's great Okay, thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Usman, for the explanation. Okay, I will I will turn to Amitaj for now uh, regarding the uh, performance marketing in Indonesia. Okay, I believe that you have a lot of experience here in Indonesia. So how's the situation in Indonesia performance marketing area in this past uh, two years? What kind of challenge that you're facing to run performance marketing in Indonesia? Oh, sorry, you still muted. Yeah, hi. So I'm audible. Sorry, I'm audible. Oh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear you now. Oh, right. Clear, clear. So, uh, you do, I would uh, like to say that Indonesia uh, is a very big market, as I said earlier. Uh, it's a 204 uh, million uh, internet user. So, everyone is there on the internet buying, shopping, selling. So e-commerce is huge in uh, Indonesia. Indonesia right now is a land of uh, probably eight unicorns. And uh, one fourth of the unicorn uh, uh, in the population is there in Indonesia. And uh, so th th there's a lot of e-commerce happening. Uh, so I would say affiliate marketing uh, is on the growth trajectory, or I would say the performance marketing is on the growth tra trajectory in Indonesia. Uh, so as it's 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 in so there are too many players. Uh, so one challenge challenge is that uh, the uh, uh, commissions are skewed right now. Uh, the as it's an e-commerce dominated marketing um, uh, market, so uh, the uh, there are a lot of transitions happening in the commission structures. Uh, nowadays, OTT channel is growing right now. Uh, so OTT is something new which has come up in inter, uh, Indonesia market. So there are a lot of action happening there. Uh, if I talk about the challenges, I would say the biggest challenge right now in, inter, uh, in affiliate marketing in Indonesia is the right uh, sort of tracking and the understanding of tracking. Mm. Uh, so uh, the advertiser is probably too uh, naive to understand the tracking. Everybody is depending on Google. Uh, there is ve very less usage of third party tracking platforms. Those who expertise in fraud uh, detection and everything. Uh, there's a lot of dependency on uh, just Google as a tracking platform. Uh, large advertisers have tried using other platforms, but the small advertiser is still totally dependent on Google. 
and uh, so so there's a need of uh, in depth know how of integration how the affiliate marketing works and uh, and i would say it's a more of an agency dominated market and uh, the agencies are yet to um, graduate on the affiliate front uh, they are yet to understand the low bottom funnel of uh, affiliate marketing and uh, so these are the major challenges um, i mean there are a lot of payment gateways but uh, only a few work seamlessly this is one of the uh, uh, some other challenges i would i have seen in indonesia market so these are the current challenges wherein uh, i would say that affiliate marketing or performance marketing uh, in other words need to improvise in indonesia i see i see so tracking is actually still one of the problem and also so how to implement the right uh, right measurement in the campaign is one of the main issue that currently need to be solved on indonesia market yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay this is uh, this is quite insightful because yeah we also fi- facing the uh, same uh, situation and we are trying as much as possible to uh, to educate the market and also try to uh, try to improve the situation Okay, I will uh, still continue with uh, Amit Deut for now. So, do you have any specific strategy of running uh, performance marketing in Indonesia for any client that you are currently uh, handling? Yeah, sure. So, so, our strategy is clear. I mean, we want to become the market leader. That's the mm-hmm. ultra strategy. Right. So, uh, as I said, it's an agency-driven market. So, our strategy is certainly go deep dive. into the agencies build relations uh, the biggest strategy is to uh, have local uh, uh, employees local partners with us uh, so that uh, so they, they so that they can work, translate talk in bhasha and uh, so yes it's the strategy is to capture the local market that's the main uh, in fact uh, strategy uh, going deeper the verticals uh, the verticalization so uh, understand the user better and that to lo- the local user so that's our our strategy be it on the advertiser side or on the supply side uh, we would uh, work with the locals mm. i see i see i see okay uh, actually uh, uh, thank you thank you for the for the answer but i uh, i think I, uh, how can you uh, i mean the uh, strategy that i uh, i was thinking here is like how can you help your client on growing their uh, their uh, how how can you uh, develop a strategy to help your client uh, to get uh, to uh, get their uh, to get their goal to reach their goal i mean that kind of strategy uh so so as i said that uh, uh, we've planned to go uh, deep uh, so we we plan mm. to understand our client better Mm. and uh, we would uh, pre- uh, we would provide solutions through a local person to the indonesian advertiser mm. Mm. yeah that's that's our strategy okay 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 i get it. i get it. i get it. so you will you will try to understand all their goals and then you yeah. uh, you will use any kind of uh, any kind of uh, channel or any kind of uh, of uh, marketing channel that is suitable for the current situation that they are currently having and also the goals that they would like to uh they would like to achieve right uh, okay okay thank you uh, thank you for the explanation uh amitaj okay i will go i will move to uh to uh, usman now to mr usman so do you have any specific strategy for running the affiliate marketing uh, business in indonesia for uh, shop discount and also uh, modus gaya Usman, you're on mute. Yeah, you're on mute. Sorry. Yeah, can you hear me? Ah, yes, yes. Ada azan barusan. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, kalau kita ngomongin uh, performance marketing ya, Yudo, uh, mm-hmm. di 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 semua bidang itu semuanya sepertinya goals mereka tuh sama sama ya. Itu bagaimana dia uh, apa namanya mengeluarkan pos. Um, yang bisa memaksimalkan result pada akhirnya gitu ya seperti itu. Nah mm. uh, 
sekarang kita ber, kita kita mm, uh, berbicara uh, tentang shop diskon atau di Indonesia yang sekarang ini juga kita sebagai publisher di sini hmm. yang kita menerima campaign dari uh, apa namanya teman-teman advertiser seperti itu uh, akhirnya uh, kita juga melakukan hal yang serupa sebenarnya jadi apa yang mereka lakukan kita juga lakukan di sini sebenarnya seperti itu jadi uh, input kita compete sebenarnya sama advertiser dalam menjalankan uh, performance marketing gitu seperti itu uh, kita uh, saya, saya saya menyebutkannya jadi kayak sebuah games lah akhirnya gitu games yang menyenangkan jadi compete ini kita jadikan sebuah uh, kata yang uh, menarik uh, kita bikin aja jadi kayak sebuah games gitu seperti itu supaya kita nggak berkompet dengan partner sebenarnya kayak gitu nah uh, games ini apa namanya te, apa yang yang paling penting di temanya ini adalah how to win available click pada akhirnya gitu. how to win available click pada akhirnya di tempat kita seperti itu ya jadi selain dari apa namanya kalau di performance marketing kita harus tahu juga customer journey seperti apa gitu kan seperti itu nah yang paling sekarang kita apa namanya kita kembangkan di uh, shop discount ini dan di modus gaya kita fokus kepada marketing attribution Gitu. Jadi uh, apa sih marketing attribution yang kita jalankan? Jadi kita ini uh, marketing attribution ini adalah sebuah proses di mana kita mengidentify, mengidentify touch touch point touch point uh, touch point ini bisa berbentuk campaignnya atau trafficnya dari mana seperti itu yang menghasilkan revenue pada akhirnya kemudian kita filter kita define titik-titiknya itu ini datangnya dari mana gitu seperti itu. Klik ini touch touchnya ini datangnya dari mana seperti itu. Jadi kita punya sebuah sistemnya di di di, di Indonesia seperti itu. Gitu. Jadi uh, kita buat attribution model pada akhirnya uh, supaya kita memudahkan uh, mendapatkan atau memenangkan uh, valuable klik ini pada akhirnya seperti itu. Ini yang biasa kita jalankan seperti itu. Ya uh, model model attribution ini banyak banget. Jadi kita bisa mendefine. Oh ini kalau campaign ini 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 bagusnya nih dia first click gitu. dia first click nih bagusnya atau last click gitu. Nah itu kita punya punya metode hmm. gitu. Kalau uh, nanti kita bisa bahas lebih jauh lagi tentang marketing attribution versi kita kalau teman-teman semua juga pengen belajar dari kita yang ini sangat berguna uh, bahkan ini menaikkan revenue kita uh, apa namanya hampir 200% dalam 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 satu tahun kemarin gitu seperti itu. dengan mempergunakan sistem marketing attribution proses atau monitoring itu seperti itu uh, ini kita dapatkan pada uh, ya setahun terakhir lah seperti itu dari hasil kolaborasi sebenarnya dari hasil kolaborasi di, uh, sama semua partisi semua partisi di affiliate marketing dengan uh, apa affiliate platformnya juga kemudian dengan teman-teman dari apa namanya traffic source juga kita identify di uh, website kita sendiri seperti itu. So itu yang jadi uh, strategi untuk uh, buat buat kita ya untuk running uh, per, uh, apa performance marketing di, di sini lah untuk berpartner sama teman-teman dari Oke. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you Mas Usman for the uh, explanation. Uh, it's still quite lengthy but again we 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 get a very good insight from this yeah. one so i will try to uh, to translate and without without missing any uh, any good intention in this one uh, any good insight out of this one okay so uh, uh, so actually uh, the strategy that uh, currently shop discount is using is trying to analyze all the all the valuable click or trying to get the valuable click uh, out of this uh, when when they're trying to uh, prepare and uh, ch- uh, when when they are running the campaign and then they also are measuring the uh, the campaign the campaign result and then see which part of the campaign that need they, they need to take uh, for the valuable click they analyze the valuable click whether it is uh, for this campaign it is suitable for the first click or for the other campaign it is suitable for the uh, last click attribution so this is something that uh, that they are using i mean shop discount is using uh, to uh, to running the campaign and also to optimize the performance for each campaign that they are currently running from the uh, from the uh, performance marketing and also the campaign the effort uh, marketing campaign that they are currently running yes okay okay Is there any uh, additional uh, something that I miss, Mr. Usman? No, you do. You're doing great. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, I will start my uh, career as interpreter after this one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, the... so, as I said, uh, Usman, we are already working. So, our strategy is to work with local uh, publishers, affiliates, and have strategic alliances with the local bodies. Yes. So, we would love to alliance with you, Usman. Uh, sure. Master, we would love to alliance yeah, with you. Really glad to. Uh, top ID. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so okay, we will so... try to understand the niche audience better yeah. through yeah. you. Okay. okay, so this panel discussion can turn into something big in the future. So hopefully we <laughs> yeah. can business opportunities. <laughs> yeah, this is some good opportunity. Okay, yeah. uh, next one. Uh, okay, this is the last question from me. Uh, I will start with uh, Amitraj for this one. So how is COVID nineteen uh, affecting your business in Indonesia? Because we know. Yeah. COVID is already two years uh, affecting our day-to-day -day, uh, situation here in Indonesia. Is there anything that affecting your business uh, in Indonesia from COVID? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, COVID-19 has affected the world, I would say, uh, hit the world very bad. Uh, but yes, in COVID-19, what we saw or what we are actually uh, uh, witnessing is that there has lot uh, the internet uh, usage, the uh, online shopping, online presence has increased. So if I tell you about uh, our um, uh, story with the COVID-19, uh, so we have seen success in, uh, I would say, the four major categories. I would alphabetically name it as EFGH. E means e-commerce, F means fintech, G is gaming, and H is healthcare. So we've seen huge growth in these four categories, uh, e-commerce, fintech, gaming, healthcare. And uh, I mean, COVID-19 has made these categories stronger. Uh, I mean, the business stronger. There, there's been a lot of business uh, from these four categories. And uh, in the COVID-19, I think uh, the verticalization has happened. Uh, we have understood the verticals more better. And uh, I mean, we planned penetrating into the verticals uh, in a much better way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is actually creating a good opportunity for us on the, the one that we are working on the internet business for, uh, yeah. So the internet penetration surely spiking a lot because of this situation on COVID there where no one can go outside or uh, interact outside. So they are stuck and need to evolve to uh, adapt on using internet that causing great experience and also great opportunity for us that working in the internet industry. Okay, thank you for the insight, uh, Amitaj. Okay, and uh, for uh, Osman, uh, Mas Osman, can you explain uh, the situation here uh, on COVID-19? Uh, is, is it affecting your business? Is it on a good way or in a bad way? Iya, Yudo, seperti ya, Amitos juga tadi bicarakan ya, sebenarnya kita bukan berterima kasih kepada COVID ya, tapi memang banyak sekali uh, hal yang positif yang kita dapatkan uh, apa namanya sekarang-sekarang uh, uh, ini setelah COVID ini terjadi gitu. Jadi kalau ngomongin bisnis ya, jujurly si kita punya perusahaan itu meningkatnya jauh lebih lebih tinggi lagi gitulah seperti itu. Karena ya itu tadi. Semua industri itu sekarang mengalami percepatan akhirnya dipaksa untuk mempercepat untuk mendigitalisasi produknya. Dan itu kan sebenarnya poin utama ketika kita ngomongin performance base di digital seperti ini. Semua industri apa namanya berangkat ke sana dari mulai finance tadi juga disebutkan. Dan mulai finance dulu saya masih ingat banget ketika kita kerjasama dengan sebuah bank kemudian running campaign untuk membuka tabungan si pembuka tabungan itu masih tetap harus tanda tangan basah offline. Baru kita bisa. Gimana tracker kan susah. Gitu. Tapi dengan sekarang di, 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 di finance ini, ya, orang udah nggak harus ke banknya lagi. Gitu. Udah otomatisnya bisa digitalize langsung. Gitu. Dapat apa namanya, buka tabungan dan lain-lain. Ataupun retail seperti itu. Retail udah semua udah 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 bergerak ke sana. Gitu. Dan masyarakat itu dipaksa juga untuk mengenal digital pada akhirnya. Itu, itu yang memudahkannya pada akhirnya. Jadi masyarakat juga sudah pintar. Gitu. Nah, tetapi 
kalau saya uh, bisa kasih saran, saya kasih saran ya sama sama teman-teman yang bergelut di bidang affiliate ini gitu. Uh, sebisa mungkin kita harus fokus saja sama dulu sama sama beberapa industri yang memang kita geluti gitu. Karena kalau kita memakan semua industri yang sekarang lagi uh, apa namanya going to digital semua, itu energi kita akan sangat-sangat besar keluar gitu. Karena apa? Karena setiap uh, industri itu beda-beda jernihnya gitu, beda-beda behaviornya. Jadi so let's fokus to satu industri dulu, kemudian kita buat tim untuk me, apa namanya me, me, me monitoring apa namanya industri tersebut sampai kita punya formulanya. Baru habis itu kita bergeser ke apa namanya ke uh, industri-industri yang lain seperti itu. Karena mungkin beda halnya dengan uh, uh, apa namanya industri yang lebih besar ya. Tapi kalau kita ngomongin affiliate marketing, kita juga ngomongin niche market gitu. Jadi Uh, mulailah dengan fokus terhadap sebuah uh, apa namanya uh, sekarang ini terhadap satu industri kemudian kita bikin A/B testing timnya sendiri ada pun kita bergeser ke apa namanya industri industri lain uh, ketika kita sudah punya formulanya yang tadi seperti itu jadi ya itu tadi uh, apa namanya uh, covid ini berguna tapi tetap kalau kita tidak punya strategi untuk me, apa namanya untuk mengambil potensi ini sayang banget gitu seperti itu gitu loh Okay, thank you, uh, Pak Usman. Okay, uh, let me uh, try to uh, explain this. So uh, actually, yeah, uh, the situation here is improving, not, not, not thanks to COVID, but uh, we are riding the uh, riding the uh, riding the hype. So uh, we are able to get the opportunity under under COVID, and this COVID actually can create a huge opportunity, a uh, huge. A wave of growth in uh, his company uh, from shop discount as well. They can uh, generate 200% of growth within the uh, within this uh, two years of this COVID situation. But uh, a little bit note of this uh, affiliate uh, industry. So uh, if you want to uh, play as an affiliate player or be an affiliate uh, business, uh, you need to be focused on one type of category. So you cannot. You cannot split your you cannot split your focus into more than one industry. You need to have a strong, uh, strong uh, niche in one uh, in one uh, category before you move to other uh, other category. Because affiliate is a niche uh, industry. So if you want to big in affiliate industry, you need to focus in one niche before you can uh, focus to other. Okay, I think we reach uh, the end of our discussion. Okay, now we uh, will move to the question uh, Q and A uh, session. Okay, we receive uh, three question. Okay, so I okay. Let's start from uh, the question from Lolita Ade. Okay, uh, Fioni. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the uh, question has appeared on the screen. So. Okay, I will translate it to English. So, good afternoon. I would like to have a question for Mr. Usman on how can we choose the campaign? I mean, I believe that this one is for affiliate campaign that is suitable to run for for a beginner. Jadi, uh, yeah, uh, please, Mr. Usman. You know, you do. Okay. You yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear you now. Oke, okay, pertanyaannya selamat sore. Tapi saya suaranya ber... terdengar ya? Iya, terdengar. terdengar. Oke, okay, jadi ini pertanyaannya ya. E, bagaimana memilih campaign yang tepat dijalankan sebagai pemula? Oh, okay. Terus, e, mungkin sebagai pemula, saya pikir e, sebelum memilih campaign, sebaiknya memilih dulu partner dalam e, menjalankan affiliate. Ya, Carilah partner atau e, valid platform yang bisa membantu teman-teman uh, dalam uh, mengarahkan kampanye-kampanye yang tepat untuk teman-teman seperti itu ya salah satunya mungkin di sini ada access trade nih gitu jadi uh, saya punya pengalaman banyak dengan access trade dia bisa mengarahkan dengan bagus kampanye mana yang cocok untuk teman-teman uh, pemula uh, bisa dijalankan seperti itu dan nanti juga akan dibantu bagaimana strategi dan lain-lain seperti itu kayak gitu jadi bergabunglah dulu dengan affiliate platform untuk pemula kalau menurut saya sih itu uh, masih dong. 
Oke, okay. oke, okay. terima kasih Pak Usman atas jawabannya. Oke, okay. uh, ya uh, mungkin bisa dilanjutkan, uh, dilanjutkan dengan pertanyaan dari Natania. Hampir sama juga untuk Pak Usman juga. Ya, bagaimana prospek affiliate dan hal yang harus dilakukan bagi individual player? Halo, Pak Usman? Sorry, Yudo. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, okay. Oh, ini lagi ya? Iya. Yeah. Oh oke okay, oke, okay. suaranya nggak kedengeran sih Yudo, tapi oke okay, ini pertanyaan oh, buat saya okay. ya. Suara nggak kedengeran. Oke. Okay. Ada Amitos, do you... you you can hear Yudo? Ya yeah, ya, yeah, we can hear you. Oke okay, sure, sure. Amitos, can you hear me? Oke okay, oke okay, oke. Okay. Oke okay, ya, uh, saya coba yes, jawab ini. Hear. Bagaimana prospek affiliate dan hal yang harus dilakukan dilakukan sebagai individual. Prospek affiliate ke depan sangat sangat bagus ya, sangat sangat bagus sekali dan. Uh, Kalau kita punya apa namanya, kalau kita punya keinginan untuk masuk ke dalam affiliate, apalagi buat individual, uh, saya sih sarankan untuk bisa membangun uh, uh, kerajaan sendiri ya. Kerajaan ini bisa berbentuk macam-macam ya, bisa berbentuk aset digital, bisa berbentuk website, bisa berbentuk sosial media dan lain-lain seperti itu. Jadi buatlah uh, apa namanya kerajaan aset, uh, kerajaan digital sendiri. Uh, apa namanya di, di, di dunia digital seperti itu uh, uh, karena ini akan jadi penting nanti ke depannya uh, kemudian konsisten ya konsisten di dalamnya seperti itu uh, karena uh, untuk menjadi uh, oh, apa namanya website sendiri atau kerajaan sendiri itu butuh jangka waktu yang sangat lama seperti itu uh, sekali lagi saya sarankan mungkin bisa apa namanya ngobrol dengan apa namanya affiliate manajernya di platform juga bisa bisa juga cari bagaimana cara uh, apa namanya uh, melakukan uh, uh, apa namanya melakukan uh, me- mendapatkan traffic sebanyak banyaknya untuk si kerajaan ini seperti itu uh, ya itu bisa dilakukan di 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 mana mana ya seperti itu itu sih udah sorry Yudo, saya tidak kedengaran aku saya rada terganggu dengan Oke, okay, okay. banget nih. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Thank you Usman for the answer. Uh, oke, okay, menambahkan sedikit untuk uh, yang mau start di affiliate marketing. Kita punya yang namanya uh, dari Access Trade, kita punya yang namanya Access Trade Academy di mana kita bisa uh, apa? Di situ ada modul, modul-modul yang bisa digunakan untuk uh, para pemain uh, affiliate pemula, uh, uh, maksudnya sebagai publisher-publisher pemula untuk meningkatkan skillnya di situ. Jadi kalau mau coba bisa boleh cek di Access Trade Academy. Silakan daftar dulu jadi akses jadi publisher Access Trade dan uh, bisa uh, cek di Access Trade Academy dan pastinya kita dari tim Access Trade juga bisa membantu untuk meningkatkan atau mengembangkan skill dari publisher-publisher pemula. Oke, okay. oke okay. the next question I receive uh, this is from chat section. Uh, okay, this question for Amitosh actually. So hi Amitosh, how Apple uh, had okay. How have uh, COVID side effect in uh, Singapore market? Do you uh, do you have any uh, insight for COVID 19 situation uh, on Singapore market? So yeah, hi. Uh, so Singapore market, like uh, every other market, uh, was uh, or I would say before some time till uh, some time badly hit by COVID. Singapore market is more mobile oriented. So as I said earlier, also in my session, that uh, the e-commerce buying went up in Singapore market, buying groceries around 200%. Uh, healthcare insurances, these things went up. Uh, there was a, a huge downfall on the travel uh, uh, vertical, uh, and then coupons related to travel because that's a lot used in Singapore. Uh, uh, the uh, buying trends uh, the uh, i would say the uh, fmcg i mean uh, the mobile buy, the appliances buying has gone down uh, the uh, retail has gone down buying garments i mean uh, on the retail side has gone down uh, 
uh, but yes uh, the grocery and the healthcare uh, and gaming uh, has actually uh, come up in singapore market during the covid times okay okay thank you so much for this uh, for the for the answer uh okay uh we have the last question uh Mr. Usman, can you hear me? Okay, uh, please uh, share uh, the question. Uh, please uh, share the question uh, to uh, to the screen. Okay, so here's the last question for uh, Mr. Usman. Okay. Untuk okay. campaign, okay. yeah. Dengar ya. Please, yeah. Please. Tapi please. saya tidak bisa mendengar kalian semua nih. Okay, okay, okay. 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 No problem, Apa no ini ter pertanyaan terakhir ya? Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Pet supplement, yeah. Ini. Okay, so. Uh, oh, kalau dari sisi saya sebenarnya pasti untuk kalau langsung ke spesifik produk seperti ini kita harus diskusi langsung dulu ya. Jadi saya harus tahu dulu pet supplement ini tuh uh, produknya seperti apa ya. Uh, kemudian petnya ini apa ya? Uh, petnya kan banyak ya, gitu. Jadi uh, nanti mungkin bisa bisa langsung ke saya, Yudo. Jadi uh, karena oh, okay. ini saya ada gangguan, <laughs> saya nggak bisa dengar dengar kalian semua ini. Jadi nanti mungkin bisa daerah ke saya. Uh, apa namanya? Saya juga open untuk uh, ya diskusi dengan siapapun. Ada kalaupun bisa ada advertiser, ada produk yang memang mau kerjasama dengan kita bisa. Langsung kita bicarakan ya. Oke, gitu. oke. Okay. Okay. Uh, berarti untuk Mbak Nita nanti bisa direct chat ke Mas Usman. Uh, Mas Usman masih ada stay di uh, platform ini, jadi sementara bisa langsung direct chat ke Mas Usman dan Mas Usman akan bantu buat jawab buat Mbak Nita uh, nantinya ya. Oke, okay. ya, yeah, I think we reach the end of our time for this panel discussion. Again, thank you everyone for joining this session. Thank you, Amitoch. Thank you, uh, Mas Usman, you. for uh, joining this session and sharing your time, uh, sharing your valuable time to join this session on Access Summit 2022. And hopefully, this session can bring a benefit for all the uh, the attendee and all the uh, speaker in here. So, uh, thank you everyone, and I will return this uh, to uh, the MC for Arifan. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you for you. all panelists. And thank you, moderator. Smart. Yes, and thank you to all participants that already participated in this session. And that was our last panel discussion for AT Summit 2022. And the next agenda is networking session. So after leaving this room, you can go to networking lounge to mingle with participants. And I also would like to remind again to stand by because we will have 80 awards or access trade awards in this evening. So don't miss it, everyone. Thank you. And see you in this evening. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye.